We are so excited to finally be in Thailand. The first thing we're doing is bringing you along as we eat our way around Bopud Beach on a DIY food tour. We hope you enjoyed today's Thai Food Fest video as much as we enjoyed making it. Okay guys, we made it to Thailand and we are more excited than anything in Thailand, of course, to try the food, authentic Thai cuisine. Mm. So there were no food tours available that we could find here on Koh Samui. So since there are no organized food tours that we could find here on Koh Samui, we're doing our own. We have come here to this little food market that is very close to where we're staying all kinds of stalls and authentic stuff and we are getting three dishes here today that we're going to start with so first we have and i'm probably going to butcher this pad krapao gai which is stir fried chicken with rice and an egg with some holy basil um, and a fish sauce and we did ask her to make it spicy and we also have green curry um, so we have that. We asked for no rice with that. You can, we'd normally get it with rice, but we have lots of rice with our other dishes. And soon we should be uh, coming up our third dish, but I think, it, I think it's coming right now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so here, this is Penang curry. Oh my gosh, I can already smell it. Penang curry is delicious. Can't wait to have the authentic stuff. Okay, what are we gonna start with? I think we start with okay. this beautiful dish. I'm gonna start with this, crack this egg and let it pour over this rice a little. I should have made Mitch do this one because this is probably the spiciest dish we have, depending on how spicy she made it. That. Mm. Mm. That's got some kick. Oh my gosh, the chicken is so tender and it has got some bite. And this holy basil, the holy basil, we watched her go to the market that's behind us to grab the holy basil. That's how fresh everything is. Oh, it's just outstanding. Okay, I want Mitch to try this and then we'll move on to something else. So each of these dishes uh, range from 60 to 70 baht, which is like $2.50 Canadian, super cheap. And we also got a watermelon shake, so like no sugar, just watermelon blended up with ice, 40 baht, so like $1.50. Um, so very, very affordable for these three dishes and this shake. Uh -huh. Okay, so what do we want to try next then? I think we do that green curry. Okay. I will start with that. So I'm just gonna explain to you in this holy basil dish, this little sauce that Mitch poured over. Um, I'm just gonna see what that is. Mm, okay, so that's like a fish sauce Ooh, with some hot little peppers chopped up in there. So, oh gosh, that's delicious. Fish sauce, good call pouring that over the rice, but definitely gonna make the dish spicier. All right, green curry. Oh, this looks so delicious. Very hot still. Mm. That is delicious. Oh my <laughs> lord. <laughs> okay, I love green curry. I am going to steal a little rice from this dish. Add in, look at. I don't even know what this little vegetable is. It looks like, sorry, like a green, a small green tomato maybe? Anyway, this, like the fresh basil leaves in there. Oh my goodness. flavor. You can taste all that coconut milk and that curry and it's such a mild curry. The green curry is a mild curry and it is 
the taste is outstanding. So many fresh vegetables in here. There's peppers, there's like carrots, the green tomatoes, the basil leaves. Oh my gosh, I can't get enough. Oh. Mm. Oh. I don't even know how we're eating hot soup today because it is like 36 degrees, feels like 42. You can probably hear some of this fan noise because we've chosen a seat by a fan. Oh, so good. Okay. Next on the menu. Oh, did I get a little spice in there? I think so. Ooh, I think there's actually hot peppers. I take it back, it's not that mild. Okay guys, this is a nice red curry sauce. This is Penang curry. So look at this. She's got red peppers thinly sliced up with the chicken and then, uh, I don't know if that's lemongrass or what the green is, but looks so delicious and pretty. Mmm. Mmm. That is heaven. I don't know. I love Thai curry. They have so many different flavors, it seems. Like, it's just, it's so different than Indian curry. The green curry tastes completely different than this Penang curry. Oh my gosh. This is, I don't even want to give this up for Mitch, but I'll let him have some. Wow. Oh, it is delicious. Highly recommend. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Okay. So good. See. different but so tasty oh my lord i think we're signing out we need to we need to eat this food yeah we do for dinner that night we headed to the night market for more street food while deciding on barbecue skewers we met this british guy who was trying crocodile so he agreed to do a croc skewer review for us we'll give you, hey, we'll what give have you a full we review here? we've got crocodile? the crocodile um, no idea It looks like chicken. It looks Show good. us that white meat. Oh, okay. How's it taste? Very nice, actually. It's um, got a nice sauce on it. It's a bit chewy. Okay. Similar to chicken. I'd, I would recommend. Okay. Not oh. a strong taste at all. No. Okay. Well, you I think I'm going to have to try some. I'm going to try, try some, it? yeah. All right. Absolutely. It's like a slightly different chicken. Hey, like, hey, like hey, beef, like, like belly up there. Sir? Hey, right. thank you for being the hey, Which ones do we want? <laughs> We've gone with uh, crocodile, duck, uh, pork, and chicken. And I'm excited to try crocodile. Okay. We'll be able to tell. Chicken. Oh, chicken. chicken. That. Duck. Crocodile. Crocodile. For the beginning of our food tour this evening, we have now been gotten showered and we're coming on out to the night market. Super excited. Um, we're starting off with some sautés and we have pork, chicken, duck, and we also have crocodile, which I'm very excited to try. <laughs> well, okay. I'm, I'm starting with the crocodile. Oh my gosh. Our English friend just said it tasted like chicken. A little chewy, very good taste. Okay. Okay. It's very chewy. The sauce is delicious, which is really what takes over all the flavor. I'm gonna try now that the sauce is getting off of the meat, see if I taste crocodile flavor. Okay, like I wouldn't go out of my way and pay more for it. It's chewy. It's sort of, it's sort of like a chicken. So it's like a chewy chicken with a great sauce. Eat on up a crocodile. Can't believe I just say crocodile. Okay. Okay, we'll do duck and then beef. 
All right. Pork, pork. Sorry, so. duck and then pork. I've never had duck. Hey, it's not bad. It's not bad. Again, it's doused in barbecue sauce. <laughs> it's as good as a chicken. Like, nothing wrong with that. Give it a try, Jan. I think I've had duck before, but I certainly don't remember. My dad used to duck hunt, so I'm pretty sure I probably ate some. <laughs> I'm gonna eat it savagely off the stick, like a cob of corn. <laughs> what do you think? I think it's fattier or something. I do like it better than the chicken. It's not as dry as the chicken, which gives it a bit more flavor. So actually I'm a fan of the duck. Again, we've definitely gone with like a barbecue saute because all this is just doused in this very delicious barbecue sauce, but it's not like sort of the saute we we're looking for, but duck barbecue, I'm gonna start having more duck, I think. Okay. It is like chicken. Yeah, it, but you're right. It's like a bit chewy, but it's like I'll eat a crocodile and like yeah. What are you recording this on? Like YouTube or something? Yeah. Yeah. You did YouTube. Yeah. I'll give I'll give you a photo. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, man. Oh my god, I love it. We just started. Okay. Okay. Oh, you are our 900. Subscriber, thank you. Oh, well, awesome. Thanks so much, buddy. Nice. Thanks, buddy. Enjoy the rest of your trip. Thank you, you Ben. Too. Cheers. Aww. That was awesome. That was our 900 subscribers. That's so cool. So nice. Uh, what do you have there? Um, well, this is chicken saute with a little bit of peanut sauce I didn't spill. We're going to try some peanut saute. How is it? Oh my god. No. Why is the chicken so tender and why is the saute so peanutty? And I actually miss these flavors so much. Mm. Oh my god. Okay, no, this is delicious. It's so tender. Mm. It's not full of barbecue sauce. Mm. It's just Why a is flavorful. It so tender? Mm -hmm. Chicken saute all day long. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we have okay. some market pad thai. This looks delicious. And we both love pad thai. So I'm super stoked to see what this tastes like. Okay, let's just show like, how beautiful. Like, look at this. No, this is beautiful. Oh my god. That is some serious pad thai, man. Folks, it's delicious. How much did that cost? Like $2 Canadian. Okay, like, it was like very affordable. So affordable. Okay, and we did the chicken pad thai again. No, this is honestly, so much I want this every night, but the market's only every other night, so. Mm. Okay, we've had, I think, three different Pad Thai's now since we've been here for three days. <laughs> this is my favorite. Whoa. So before we go eat everything else, I'm gonna try the roti, because when I was waiting for the satay, they had this delicious looking roti. So I know it's sort of Indian, it's not really Thai, but we're gonna have a little bit of roti, and then we're gonna sign off so we can eat all this. I would like to say that the satay was fresh chicken. There's a lot of booze that have um, meat that's been previously cooked, and they just warm it up for you. This particular booth, fresh chicken, they put it on, the guy was marinating it, and I know I spilled a lot of it on myself in the ground, but that's actually a super shame because it's really, really good. Okay, this is roti with 
I don't know, like a curry sauce. Mm. Okay. But oh my god, this is so good. I'm gonna steal one more <laughs> behind the scenes. Like Jan is just devouring it behind the camera. It's so good. It's like it's not beautiful. spicy curry, it's no. just a savory. It's a nice, very savory, smooth curry. Sort of sweet. Yep. Oh my god. Okay. So we, we, need, we, need, we need to take care of this stuff. All right, let's yeah. go. Okay, we're back out at the boat putt market. And today we have a couple different dishes coming, but the first one we have is cow soy. I think I'm saying that right. It's um, a northern Thai curry dish, actually. We had the chicken the other day. We had never tried anything like this, and it's delicious. It's like coconut milk and a very mild curry, not a spicy curry. And like we said, from northern Thailand, um, it always comes with these crispy noodles on top. So have a look at that bowl. We got beef today. So we've got beef. The other interesting thing in this dish is like pickled cabbage. So they have pickled cabbage. They have sort of the wider rice noodles. There's lots of red onions, fresh red onions in there. We've got our chunks of beef um, and then our crispy noodles. So I'm gonna squirt some lime on this and we'll give it a try. A little of that, like you can just see the yummy curry broth. Oh, the beef looks great. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it like this. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. This northern Thai curry is just so mild and yummy and creamy. I'm just gonna get a piece of this beef. Oh, it melts in your mouth. Oh my goodness. Mm. And I love the tang of the pickled veggies. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna give it to Mitch. Sure. Okay, well this looks absolutely amazing. Love the dried noodles. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna try very hard to not make a mess on myself. Mmm. Such good flavor. Wow. A very mild curry. Delicious. So fresh. Mm. Okay, now we just have some stir fried chicken with some rice. Um, the chicken is stir fried with curry paste. And we have this delicious looking fish sauce with the hot peppers on the side if you want to look at that. Got that. And the chicken. Not sure what. This is again, some lemongrass maybe, maybe some morning glory that's been chopped up. Anyway, I'm gonna dig in, see how, and I think we asked for it a bit spicy. Mm. Um, every spice that they do here in Thailand, there's so many different flavors of spicy and I love them all, oh my gosh. They're all so good. And I love the fresh cucumber. It just helps neutralize some of that spice. It's refreshing in your mouth. So good. Okay, Mitch's turn. Spicy. Mm. Whatever this is, it's got some kick. Yeah. <clears throat> It's really, really It's like good. a spicy fish sauce, but they've got some really hot little peppers chopped up in that fish sauce. We need to take care of business here. Yeah, they are all winners. We're loving lunch. We're also loving getting three dishes. It feels like we're cheating. So we're gonna go eat. All of these are amazing. Okay, hey guys. So we have tried out some food at the local market. We've tried it out um, at the late night market. But we decided to try some of our favorite dishes that we've had here along the beach in Beauput and Fisherman's Village where it's more touristy and there's a lot more Western choices too, but we did find a restaurant kind of by accident. 
Um, the menu looked good and we're like, hey, let's compare because the prices are quite different, which we'll share with you um, at the end because I don't remember them off the top of my head. But first, let's try our dishes. So I got um, pad thai with prawns. It looks quite delicious. Mitch decided to go for the Penang curry, chicken Penang curry. So we've got these two dishes that we know we love, and we're gonna see how they compare to our little local food market. And like I said, we will give you the prices at the end as well. I just have to say, I'm in love with Thai food. I could eat Thai food every single day. Well, I basically have for the last almost month. <laughs> and this looks delightful. Get some chicken, a little bit of everything here. Mmm. Like really good flavor. And they are very good at asking you mm. if you want it spicy, and you did ask for it spicy. Oh my god. Not super spicy. Okay. Some of that peanut on there. So many different flavors of pad thai. I never thought it would be like a pad thai connoisseur, but I feel like we've had so many different flavors here. Mm. Okay, that's got a really nice sour balance with the sweep. Okay, really, really like this pad thai. Um, I'm actually impressed. Um, really good portions. It is very good. Um, I think we might pay for the beach view a little bit, but that's okay sometimes. Okay guys, I think we just need to go and eat and enjoy this beautiful beach view, try each other's dishes, and we'll come back at the end with our final review and some prices for you. Okay, so we just finished another amazing um, Thailand meal. So price-wise, we want to talk about because we're right on the beach and you pay a little more in the prices, you pay tourist prices, and Janet's Pad Thai she had was 200 baht, and we would get that at our little market, um, which is amazing for either 90 or 100 baht. So it's probably twice as expensive here. And my curry dish uh, was about three times more expensive than um, our little market we go to. Portions here are probably a little bit bigger. Um, however, Jen and I were just talking, and flavor-wise, we think we actually prefer our little market um, compared to here on the beach. Um, however, again, this was still a great meal and we eat a lot at the market. Uh, one, because it's absolutely delicious and two, because it's very affordable. Um, but, you know, it's hard to beat this view. It is. So we enjoy to come out here once in a while, um, have a little singa, have a beer and uh, have a great meal. Um, so I think that wraps up our little DIY food tour here in Thailand. Um, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, I'd really consider subscribing because we're doing a lot of really cool stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one.